We're being asked to find the domain range and asymptotes of the following graph. Let's go ahead and find the asymptotes first. So we'll start with the vertical asymptote. So I'll call it VA. And it's right here. It's this vertical dotted line. So we have to figure out what the equation of this line is. Now you'll notice that there's three tick marks. One, two, three. And then here we have a six. That means that this must be two and this must be four. So the vertical asymptote in this case is the line x equals 2. So that is the vertical asymptote. Now let's find the horizontal asymptote. So again, you'll notice here we have a 6. So the tick marks are in increments of 2. So this is 2, 4, and then 6. So this will be y equals 4. So horizontal asymptotes always look like this. It's y equals a number. And vertical asymptotes always look like this. It's x equals a number. Now to find the range. The range is all the possible y values. So we'll start by looking, going from bottom and then up. So negative infinity. So you go from the bottom up all the way to 4. And we don't include the 4 because we have an asymptote. Parentheses union, and then we start back up at 4, and then all the way to infinity. So 4 to infinity. So that would be the range. Now let's find the domain. The domain is the set of all x's uh, that makes sense. In other words, if you pick an x, uh, you should get a y value. So if I pick an x here, I get a y value. It's up here, but it's not, it's not in the picture. This keeps going. If I pick this x, I get a y value. If I pick an x here, I get a y value. I pick an x here, I get a y value. Pick an x here, I get a y value. I can pick any x I want, and I'm going to get a y value. The only x I can't pick is 2, because there's a vertical asymptote there. So the domain is all the x's except 2, because that's the only x you can't pick. So negative infinity to 2, union 2 to infinity. And that's it.